Hey fellow rangers, it's me, Mario. Today let's talk about 2A, which used to be, if you read my strategy guides on BGG, on the old page, Great Master Trail 1st edition, I thought this building was probably the strongest one in general in Great Western Trail. That's not how I think about it anymore, but I really think it's still a very strong building and it's pretty important for Cowboys for obvious reasons. So, why is 2A strong? Well, it does cost one builder, which is again dirty cheap as we've seen, that is already something pretty good. And the action is very strong, like um, whenever you can get an action for, of the starting buildings, like the neutral buildings for the strategies, so building something, moving the train and the cow market, that's already pretty good because it means that the strategy is already very strong if you go that route. And if you get an improved version of it, even better. But the best thing is that you get an improved version of a very good action for cowboys, for one builder only and two coins or probably a green cow on the first few loops. That's very, very, very good. So the strong the action is very strong just because I mean four coins for one cow. Come on, that's 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 very good. Um, why I thought it was the strongest building because I thought that cowboys could be able to stop on both this cow market and the extra cow market that is available thanks to 2A and they can have very strong loops. This is not how I think about it anymore. Um, that was my thought in my first 100 games or so. Now I'm, I think, over 200 or so. So uh, I changed my thoughts. That's what happens when you play a lot. I think that strategies adapt in some way to how the meta, the meta develops. So uh, 2A for me now is very good because it fixes your loop. It's of course incredibly good for cowboys if it's present in a game like this one where the cow market is on the first spot or on the last spots which you might remember as being the worst spot on the map because they are going to force you to stop a lot through the loop. And it's pretty good because you can set up over here, for example, or over here. I mean, in some part of the loop where it's going to be very good. Like, take a look at this game, for example. You can place it something like over here. Then you can go here and build, and then you can go and get heads. And then maybe, hopefully, you can uh, go fast. If you don't go fast, you can just get coins and then go deliver. That's already pretty good. And once you're set up with your heads or with your buildings, you can just find something else to do in this area, uh, which might mean boob a train a bit to get maybe a station master tile was left behind or just get some hazards, you know, depending on how many steps you get and how many buildings get built. It fixes your loop. So it's very good for cowboys, again, for obvious reasons, even though early on it fights a bit because you would like to discard a white cow to get heads instead of to get cows. So normally it's better if you diversify the cows that you have to spend, again, for obvious reasons. But actually cowboys will get a few new cows in the deck anyway, and they normally start getting a lot of cows after they got enough cowboys. So the conflict is not really there most of the time. I would say that I wouldn't build 2A on the first or on the second loop most of the time, just because I prioritize getting down my taxer so, all right, but I think it can be good on the first or second loop if you actually think that you're going to get a sucky loop if you don't do that. Like, if you're forced to take some very bad action in some part of the loop, you might actually try to fix your loop right from the start. And it shines later on, again, normally from the third loop when you probably already have three or even better four cowboys. Um, you can stop on 2A and get the best cows that you can get for real cheap because most of the time, I mean, most of the time is a bit of a stretch. Uh, <laughs> hopefully most of the time, depending on how you're good at cycling your deck, uh, you're going to get a white cow in your hand and you can use it on this amazing building. Uh, this building, by the way, works pretty well on the other side of Hazard Path. Um, 
making a good use of the extra action that's printed below the board because normally if you're going for cowboys you would also like to incidentally get some certificates so that you can get very good deliveries thanks to both your cows and thanks to your certificates uh, and most of the time the other players will go are going to build a lot of taxers on the other side of hazard paths so if you can place 2a on the other side of them that's already pretty good normally 2a is placed close to the start of the loop um, because if you need to fix it, that's the part that needs to be fixed the most, the start of the loop, because it's when you have fresh cash coming from your deliveries. So most of the time it's going to be one of these three spots, depending on uh, where the account market is, or in one of these two spots. Sometimes it can work pretty well also over here and over here. Again, sometimes, I mean, games are different in Great Western Trail, so it can also happen that it works over here, but I would say that most of the time uh, it's not as good. I mean, it can be good if you set up like a chain, if you place 2A here and maybe like 3B, let's see if it's in the game, or 3A over there, then it's it can be pretty good. I mean, you're going to get some certificates and some extra cash. Um, yeah, you're going to have to pass through the hazards, but sometimes that's not that big of a deal. And remember that as a cowboy player, you're bound to remove at least one hazard during the game pretty much for free. I mean, really for free, not pretty much. So yeah, 2A is a very strong building. It helps you fix the loop. Um, and also it's pretty good for other strategies sometimes. Like, uh, I know that uh, the way Great Western Trade is played right now, which I think is the competitive way, uh, makes it so that it's not easy to get early cows because there's a heavy emphasis on getting a lot of heads early on. And I think that's all good. Uh, but you know, I mean, you get four fucking coins out of this action. So, if you know you're going to have a white cow on the next loop for some reason, because you are doing the math, because of other stuff, and you know that you might take an extra step somewhere, uh, it's not a bad idea to actually plop down 2A to use it once, probably getting either a cemental, which should cost you 8, but minus 4, that's actually 4 coins, or get one of the threes and actually um, don't spend 2 coins on them, uh, and that's it. So. I think 2A can work also for other strategy. Like sometimes as a builder or as an engineer, I also get some cows and sometimes it's pretty good to pivot. You know, you went to engineers, you got two uh, ex extra station master tiles and then you go for cowboys and having 2A already set up, it's pretty good. Also, I mean, 2A, again, it costs only one builder. The opportunity cost is big because you're not going to plop down a taxer or a free step or something but it's not that big. And it can be upgraded later on to other buildings if you're going for another route uh, to do other stuff. So, um, yeah, overall, a very strong building, one that I uh, encourage you to try out in as many games as you can to try to get a feel for it, try to get to understand how it really works, how it helps you fixing up your loop. And that's it. Very strong building, uh, particularly good for cowboys, but it can be useful for everybody. All right, see you next time. Myers out.